Raphael was a very famous Italian painter during the Renaissance era. He made thought-provoking religious pieces capturing the relationship between man and God. He was one of the greatest artists alive during that time, and together with Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, they formed <clears throat> the traditional trinity of great masters of the high renaissance. Uh, but with Donatello, they also form the Ninja Turtles. Raphael was born here in 1483 in the Italian city of Urbino. Urbino was a very culturally significant city and the influence of the art around him combined with his father's painting lessons sparked Raphael's creativity at a very young age. His father though was considered by many to be a very poor painter, which is of course ironic considering his son's future. His mother sadly died when he was only age eight, followed by his father only three years later. Grief stricken, Raphael left the city of Urbino and traveled to Perugia. This is where historians have been able to date his oldest painting as he was commissioned by a local church to recreate the biblical miracle, the resurrection of Christ. Uh, this means that at the age that you and I were just figuring out how to draw faces, uh, Raphael was painting this. Raphael strived to create a calm and extroverted style, taking inspiration from artists like Leonardo. Uh, funny enough, he also developed a mild rivalry with Michelangelo. Raph continued to do commissions for churches, and as his fame grew, he moved again to Florence in around 1504. In 1507, Raphael produced The Deposition of Christ. This piece is particularly interesting to me because many other artists had done almost the exact same piece at almost the exact same time. By 1508, Raphael had become so successful that he was summoned to the Vatican by the Pope to create a mural, which he called the Stanza de la Segnatora. Took me a couple tries to get that right. And this was the first time that his work was not just one single painting, but rather an entire mural spread across multiple walls. And as you can see, this is, this is beautiful. I would kill to see this in person. There's not really a whole lot of art like this that exists today. After the wide success of this piece, Raph was nicknamed the Prince of Painters. He stayed in Rome about another 12 years, expanding the Stanza de la Segnatora. By the time it was done, it had four rooms, each with different titles. And the coolest part of all these works is that they're still available to view today inside the Vatican. His final project was titled The Transfiguration. In 1520, Raphael sadly died at the ripe age of only 37 years old from what his doctors misdiagnosed as a terminal fever. But what Raphael actually died from was syphilis, what he contracted as an STD. Raphael was considered incredibly attractive active at the time, and this, combined with his growing fame, led him to a very sexually active lifestyle. Anyways, Raphael was hugely important to the Renaissance era. His commissions from religious leaders produced artworks that would unknowingly last a lifetime. So many of his pieces are still intact and still so beautiful in the Vatican today. People from centuries after when he lived are still appreciating his artwork. The detail and elegance of his almost philosophical work gave great commentary to a Christian audience. He was appreciated for his sense of clarity as almost all his paintings were always anatomically correct. He became immensely popular and left behind a huge legacy that not only helped shape the Renaissance era, but would inspire many other artists after him.